hi everyone so today i am doing a very top requested hair tutorial it took me a long time to make this video because this tool is so expensive and i just was not ready to budge and buy it but i bought it this is my first time trying it i'm trying it on camera i have not practiced or anything with it so it's like a first time review once i kind of play around with it and get used to it then i will do another like how to use a dyson air wrap but this is just solely a review and what i think about it so this dyson retails for 549 dollars without tax with tax it ends up being 590 so almost 600 dollars for this set and the only reason why i feel like i would like this set is because it gives you that bouncy blowout look i love that look when other people blow out my hair but to get that blow out myself it just doesn't come out as big and bouncy as I would like so that is why I invested the money in this and I feel like if it could give me that bouncy blowout and I could do it myself then I'm here for it and I'm gonna love this but if not then I'm not gonna like it but we'll see so we're gonna try it out together it has different attachments that you guys could put on depending on what style you want to achieve so this one I think I would use maybe right now to air dry my hair a little bit more it blows out air so it's kind of like a to rough dry your hair it has this lock and unlock button where you can take out the attachments and put the other one on it's super easy so then it comes with these two attachments I feel like this is really short for people who have long hair like me so I already bought the longer ones because I already knew. If you guys like bigger, bouncier curls, I would go with the bigger one. If you guys like tighter curls or your hair falls easier, I would go with the smaller one. Also, it comes with two of the same ones, but they go in different directions. So they have arrows on here, which one of them will go to the right, one of them will go to the left, which is great because I always like to curl away from my face so I can use one on this side and use this attachment on this side. Next, we have these smoothing brushes if you like to have a smooth blow this is not going to give you straight hair this is just kind of to get it nice and smooth i have one that's more firm one that's more flexible this one gives more tension to the hair so you'll be able to get it a little more smooth than this one it's more flexible and then we have this which is kind of like a round brush attachment so this one just blows out air to give you that curl and this one is like a round brush kind of like if you were to round brush blow dry your hair i could do my whole hair with this but i feel like that would be a lot more work than just using these curling things if you guys have frizzy hair this would be great to help smooth that out as well as get body in your hair again this is my very first time using it so i have no idea what's going to come about but we are about to see how we feel about this it also has three heat settings and three speed settings and a cool shot button. I'm just going to rough dry my hair really quick to about 90% and then I'm going to go ahead and start using the air wrap. Here's what I have to say about this. When I was first doing it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not strong. Like, I felt that the air was super light and I wish it had one more speed setting to make it a little stronger and harder because i felt like there was barely any air coming out but surprisingly it got to dry pretty fast and then i didn't feel like it got that hot which also i kind of wished i was like i wish i could make it a little hotter but i heard that dyson is supposed to like adjust the temperature to so it doesn't damage your hair i feel like it could have been a little faster with drying my hair but i feel like i don't feel that my hair is burnt or that it dried out my hair so I could see why they did what they did. I think I still wish there was like an option to make it go a little hotter and a little higher speed. But I still got my hair dry in a timely manner. So yeah, that's what I think about this. And now we're going to go ahead and get started with the air wrap. I am going to use the one that has the arrows going that way because I want my curls going away from my face. I'm going to turn it on and then I'm going to do a cool shot. While my hair is wrapped around it, I'm going to put the cool shot button to help really seal that curl. So this is the curl it gave me. I like it. Um, as you can tell, my ends are, it didn't really grab this section that good. The ends. The ends I wish were more curled, but it's more on the straighter side simply because the barrel's too short. I think with the longer one, I would really like it much better. But you see the pieces that kind of got weird. I'm gonna recurl, so I'm gonna throw that in the back. 
but look it it's like the perfect curl i'm gonna take smaller sections because if i take two big sections then exactly what you see here some pieces aren't gonna get caught in that thing because there's too much hair so you want to take sections that can fit on the handle without it being too much and sliding out so do not brush it out do not run your fingers through it i know it's gonna probably look super tight and crazy but this is a blow dry brush this isn't like a curling iron with heat because blow dry brushes is air it gives it like an airy type of feel so when you brush it out it's going to loosen a lot more i feel like um because it's more airy it's not like the regular heat of a curling iron sometimes it just doesn't pick it up let me see if i could show you like it just flies everywhere and you see how it finally caught on um so that could be a little hard for people especially if they have very slippery hair put it like around halfway and kind of move it up and down so it could grab onto the hair or what i like to do is and just kind of throw my ends over so it could catch the ends frustrating now that i have layers it's like a little harder because it's not grabbing onto all the layers This once I took me about 10-15 minutes and that was my very first time trying so I'm sure once I get used to it, it'll probably be very fast. Um, I do suggest your hair being more on the dry side because it will start to get frizzy on the roots. Like my roots were still kind of wet. If you have it more on the wet side, the moment you take it out, it's just going to be wet and it's just going to fall flat. So definitely more on the dry side. I realize that now that I did this. I would smooth out your roots with the smoothing brush if you want to have smooth roots. But so far, I think I like this. I think I'm going to like it when I shake it out. So let me finish this side and then I'll give you guys my complete thoughts on it. So I'm figuring out new things as I'm using it. I did the bottom section. I realized I might need to take even smaller sections. Now I kind of just hold it and let the air wrap take whatever section it wants. And it's actually like, you see this section will probably just take half of this section and it rolls up by itself. Let me show you what I mean. So you see, I just kind of held it out and it grabbed onto whatever it wanted to. And it only grabbed onto half of the section that I would have take so i just kind of hold it out and then it grabs onto it and then i roll up let's do it again i go like this so i could get the ends and then just go up and then this section didn't get cut so i'm going to do this section Okay, so I think I'm getting the hang of it now. It seems like it's becoming a little easier for me now. Okay, so I wanted to switch over to voiceover so I could kind of talk about some of the pros and cons that I've seen so far in the Dyson Airwrap. One of the biggest cons is the barrel size. So something to keep in mind is that you are going to have to pay extra to get the longer barrel so we are already spending a lot of money putting into this dyson air wrap and then you're gonna have to put in more money to get the longer barrels which in my opinion i feel like you kind of have to because if, if you have boob length hair or longer just because the ends don't really get like the air on the dyson air wrap so i feel like dyson maybe does that on purpose the longer barrel would work for everybody and they probably just add that as an extra attachment to get more money so that is kind of disappointing and that's also very frustrating considering we spend so much money on this air wrap and the longer barrels are going to be so much more beneficial to all of us so another thing is that the air wrap does not smooth out your hair so if you have frizz um it's i don't think it's going to 
get rid of the frizz. It's not a smoothing brush. It's more to give you that curl than to smooth out that frizz. So you're going to have to go in and smooth out that frizz first before going in with the air wrap or else you will have frizzy hair at the end of it. And they have different attachments, so you guys can use the other attachments to smooth out your hair prior. Um, some people find the different attachments annoying to have to put them back in and out. I don't. I think it's fine. It's not a big deal to me, but if that's something to bring up for you guys. Um, the pros are I am loving the results so far. I feel like it's so easy and it's so much healthier on my hair, and I just can simply like move on to the next strand super quick. Also, the fact that it could give me a blowout look without actually having to use a blow dryer and a round brush because using a blow dryer and round brush, I love that look so much, but I never do it because it's impossible to do on myself. Like it's very time consuming. It hurts my hands. And this is the easiest thing possible. And it's the closest thing that I've got to actually having that look without having to use a blow dryer and a round brush. But I can see how it could be a con as far as depending on people's hair types. I've seen for fine hair and people with no layers, it does fall. Um, but I think that also depends on how you're prepping your hair. So I am done. As you can see, this side has more volume. I think I got the hang of it. So this side has started doing it a little better. But let's see what's going to happen when I shake it out. I know when I shake it out, I have a feeling it's going to just give me more body. I expect it to loosen up a lot more. It's going to give more of the blowout vibe, which I think that's what it's meant to do. For those who don't have layers, I can see why this could be an issue for you guys. Because if your hair has no layers up top and you have full length, and it's going to be heavy. It's going to fall. So for those who have one length hair, I don't know if this tool would be great for you guys because I have a feeling a lot of the complaints are that it falls and I can see that I think it's meant just to give you some body to give you some bends and if you go into that buying the Dyson then you'll be a lot happier than if you go into it thinking that it's going to curl your hair but yeah so let's shake it out let's see what happens shake it All right, so this is the final look, a uh, big bouncy blowout. First of all, I could never really do this look on myself. So the fact that I could do it in my hair feels so much healthier than using a curling iron. Honestly, I thought it was going to be a lot more loose and subtle, but I'm surprised of how well it held and I've been shaking it. So I feel like it will stay like this for the most part. It'll probably fall a little bit, but this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the blowout look and I feel like this is exactly it. People have different hair types. Obviously, not one thing is going to work for everybody. My hair holds pretty good curls, so that's why I feel like it's it worked well in my hair. Like I said in the, before, if you guys don't have layers, I'm not sure how it would look on your hair. If you guys don't have layers and have tried the Dyson Air Wrap, comment below. Let me know if you guys liked it or not, or let me know your thoughts So for other people so they can see as well. I'm just curious to know how it works for other people and what are the complaints you guys have because a lot of it could be technique, a lot of it could be not prepping your hair correctly, and that's stuff that I want to talk about in my next video when I show you guys how to use it. So I'm going to try to get used to it try to find the best tips for you guys and then in the next video i will show you guys the best way to use the dyson to get the best results so my final thoughts on this start with your hair more on the dry side um as you can see i have some frizz in the back and that's because my hair was still wet and it wasn't smooth so i would suggest when you rough dry your hair if you guys have curly hair smooth it out first smooth it at least the roots out first not necessarily the mid and ends but at least smooth out the roots so you guys can have that nice and smooth get the longer one if you guys have long hair i would be so much better with the longer one it could be kind of scary at first because i didn't get the hang of it so i was like how do i do this and you're trying to multitask um you're trying to have it spin up you're also trying to like think about when to take it out so it doesn't stay on your hair too long also there's a cool button where you can press that and cool it down if you're still trying to get it to roll up while you have the heat on the rolling part takes some getting used to and i think that's going to be for another video where i explain how to use a dyson air wrap this was more of a review of my first thoughts on it but once you get the hang of it it's honestly super easy like i went through this side super fast what side do you guys like better i feel like it's i don't know if you guys could see the difference but i feel like i did this side a little different than i did this side so do you guys like a or b um can't believe i got this on my first time to get it to look this way i thought it would take me a couple tries and the fact that the first time i was 
able to have this look i'm excited for the future once i get really get the hang of it so did it get the job done absolutely i'm obsessed with it i wanted to be super harsh on the dyson because it costs 600 dollars and i was just like for 600 dollars it better be amazing and it freaking delivered but you know i'm still 600 dollars like but yeah i hope you guys like this video comment below again pros cons anything that you guys any questions about the dyson because i'm gonna make a follow-up video write it all below because i want to be able to give as much tips as i can so i want to hear your guys' thoughts and make sure to follow me on instagram that's where i post so many tutorials so here's my instagram if you guys like informational hair tutorials Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. That would mean the world to me if you guys subscribe to my channel and show me support. If you guys don't know, I am a hairstylist. I did go to cosmetology school, so I do have a background and I do have knowledge in hair. So I love to share that with you guys. And yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.